combining like terms. This simply means to combine common variable terms. Let's uncover it. Let me remember our parts of our expression. Our variable terms are the ones that have the numbers and the variables. And our constant terms. So anything with our, just in our, our numbers. So this example from above, let's combine our like terms. So I'm going to, in different colors, underline the like terms, starting with my variable terms. So I have this 7x. So what I'm looking for when I want to know if there's another common term, I'm looking for another term that just has an x, just one x. So we've got a 3. That doesn't have an x, so that's not a common term. I've got a negative 5x. That does have an x, so that's just like this x. 8, there's no variable, no x, not common. I've got this 4x, that's the same, and then a negative 1. So I'm going to add up these. And you can do this a few different ways. It's just up to you. But my x, it's not going to change. It's a common term, and it's going to stay the same. All I'm going to do is, I'm going to do that on the side, is I'm going to take those numbers in front and do those operations in the order that they are in. So remember I said that negative sign travels with that. So I'm keeping that minus sign with that 5. So I've got 7 minus 5 plus 4. And that ends up being 6. So now I've got six x's, and then we've got some constant terms. We've got this positive 3, positive 8, and minus 1. So again, I can write that out to the side. We've got 3 plus 8 minus 1, and that equals a positive 10. So my combined like terms, my simplified answer of this expression is 6x plus 10. Now... Remember, it's an expression, and we're just simplifying it by combining like terms. Simplifying. Do not give me x equals plus 10, or 6 plus 10, or 16, or x equals something. We're not solving for x yet. This is it.